Student opinion, video gaming can be harmless and even helpful. Video games aren't all bad. In fact, 11-year-old Chen Wu argues that they can even be good for managing stress, increasing heart rate, and making friends. This opinion article is by Chen Wu, was submitted to New Zealand in response to an article titled Student Opinion, Video Games Are Rotting Kids' Brains by Margaret Buckler that was published August 16, 2018. Playing video games can be a good thing. Although your article Student Opinion, Video Games Are Rotting Kids' Brains, talks about how video games harm our minds, it doesn't all make sense. Too much video gaming is not a good thing. It leaves you with no time for your schoolwork. But what is wrong with 30 minutes to one hour of playing? In your article, I believe you're trying to say we should play less than three hours each week. Playing a shooter game or other games can improve your thinking capacity. Gamers tend to be stronger at focusing on 3D objects than non-gamers. Gaming can also lead to an improvement in math and other subjects. Video games can also improve our eyesight, for example, in shooter games, you can focus on a bad guy and shoot them. This improves your reflexes and is an exercise for your eyes. Eyesight declines when we reach a certain age, but video games may improve it. Fortnite and other games are popular in schools. Because video games are very social, we make a huge amount of friends on them. If you are the only one who does not play video games in your school, then you don't know what's happening. People are talking about all sorts of things related to games and how they do something. But you're just, you just feel left out because you don't know what's happening. I hear the word Fortnite at least 200 times a day. To prove my point, my friends are the only ones who don't want to talk about it. Four people, that's it, out of nearly 200 of them. Although Fortnite is becoming less popular, it's still very annoying if you can't interact with your older friends because you don't know what they're talking about. Video games allow you to understand a shared interest that many people at your school probably have. Video games can improve your focus, attention. Video gaming may help, you, may help to improve our decision making. Playing video games needs your brain and you need to cooperate with your hand and head to work together. You need to think in your head, then apply what you're thinking to your games. Over time, your hand and head could automatically cooperate together without even thinking about what you should do. It helps you to make decisions quickly, whether those decisions are right or wrong. You said in your article that education is more important than gaming but video games actually improve your focus and attention. You can focus more when a person is talking and people get your attention faster. This is because video games have fast motion in them. It trains your mind to think on your feet and focus so that mistake won't happen again. It helps you to stay focused in other areas of your life, such as when a teacher is talking. They can get your heart rate up too. The American Academy of Pediatrics did an experiment on people who play active games, like on Nintendo Wii, and people who walk on treadmills. The study found out that active gamers have the same heart rate, reaction, behavior with the people walking on the treadmill each day at the speed of three and a half miles per hour, a fairly rigorous walking pace. This shows that active video games can not only be not bad for you, but actually a good for your health. Playing video games helps you learn from your mistakes more efficiently. When you're at your computer or console playing video games, you often make mistakes. That mistake then stays in your head and you work hard not to make it again. You can then apply those skills to real life, allowing yourself to learn from your mistakes in the real world quickly and not be too let down by them. The bottom line, Lastly, playing video games helps some people manage stress. When you are stressed, play some video games, settle in, and carry on. Video games can soothe your brain and help you calm down. Video games have upsides, and not just one, but many. Parents should take their time and study the evidence instead 
they often just say, too many video games, young man. It is important to look not just at the downsides, but at the many upsides of playing video games. Chen Yiwu is 11 years old and lives in Vancouver, Canada. He enjoys swimming and playing with friends. He likes reading and writing his own stories and comics. He codes and plays video games.